Welcome. So we're going to talk now about how you go about accelerating code with OpenCL. To do this, we're going to take an example of optimizing an OpenCL program. In this case, it's going to be a simple PDE solver. So we're going to have two grids that are 4K by 4K. They're single precision floats. So this is 64 megabytes of data and a five-point stencil computation. And so you can see an example of what this application is going to do here. We're going to start out with an in array here, which is going to have these five-point stencil. We're going to go over every point in the array. We're going to generate one output point, and we're going to go through the entire array and do this. We keep repeating this until we get to some convergence. And to estimate the convergence, we're going to find the minimum maximum values. So for the convergence here, we're going to iterate over every element in the output array, find the minimum maximum, and when they get close enough together, we're going to say we're done. So we're going to go ahead and run this on a test system, which has a Sandy Bridge Intel CPU and an AMD Radeon GPU. Now, note here that in this case, the GPU running all together is about 35 times faster than a single CPU core. And we're going to need this number here to understand what sort of performance we expect. So let's take a look at the C code for this. So here's our main code in C. We're going to start off, we're going to initialize our data. And then we're going to do something, we're going to repeat until we converge. So while the range is greater than some limit, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to go do an update. And the update is exactly this stencil computation here. You can see the update here. We're going to go get all our coefficients out of our matrix. We're going to calculate our output, and we're going to write our output. Then we're going to go and find the range. We're going to find the minimum, maximum. And for that, we just iterate over all the data, finding the minimum, finding the maximum, and then we return the difference between the two of those. And then when we're done, we're going to swap the in and out, and we're going to redo the calculation. So we keep doing this until we've converged. OK, so we can go ahead and profile the code. And all the performance here is going to be normalized to the C code. So the C code, the straight up code, runs at a performance of 1.0. And obviously, we want to go faster. We're going to want to see something small. So here's what we're doing. We're spending the vast majority of our time in update, some time in range, and a little bit in overhead. So here's a question. What should we offload to the GPU first? Well, if we look at the code here, it's pretty clear we want to up offload update because we're spending 80% of our time in update. So that's the first part that we want to optimize. 